Hello, hello everyone. This is Dr. Duggan, primary care doc, trained in both family medicine and adolescent medicine, here today to discuss the topic of cervical cancer screenings, also known as pap smears. So when do we start? Typically, we begin at the age of 21 years old, regardless of when a person first had sex. And this goes upwards of 65 years in most cases. So what are we looking for? We're checking the cervix for any abnormal cells that may be indicative of either precancerous or cancerous cells that can lead to cervical cancer. Depending on your age, we may also check for what's known as human papillomavirus or HPV. There is a vaccine to help prevent HPV, which is why we want to start it early in our childhood. So why is all this important? Well, in the United States, among gynecologic cancers, cervical cancer rates number three in incidence. And when it comes to deaths from cervical cancer, it also ranks number three. So this is why we want to make sure we're screening anyone that has any lady parts for cervical cancer. So you may say, what are some signs or some symptoms that we may have cervical cancer? Where well, one could be irregular periods or abnormal bleeding. Another sign could also be postcoital bleeding, also known as bleeding after sex. So if this happens at any point, even if you have a normal pap smear, please, please be sure to let your doctor or your healthcare professional know what's going on so that they can investigate further. Hope this has been helpful. Here in Health, Dr. Duggan. Bye.